Today we're going to be building this resource library. It's embedded directly on our WordPress site. It's fully searchable and users can also browse via these dynamic filters that we're going to set up. When someone clicks on a resource, they'll get this opt-in form and once they submit their details, the resource will be emailed directly to them. So that's the resource library. And before we get into it, I want to let you know that this is a zero code project and the whole process will probably take less than 30 minutes. Let's get started. Let's get started by looking at our WordPress website. So this is the home page. You know, it looks good. It's well designed. It's exactly what you would expect until you get to the resources page and it's looking pretty empty. You know, we have the page title at the top, but there's this big white gap where our resources should be. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to build a resource library and we're going to embed it directly into this white space. So the first thing to do is to gather all your resources together in one place. So you can see that I've done that on my desktop. I've created this folder and I've just brought all my resources in there. So there's ebooks, checklists, there's presentations and videos and podcast episodes. And I've just put them together in one place. That's going to save us a lot of time later. So you should do the same. Next, you need to visit beacon.by slash WP library. Now, this is the tool that we're going to be using to create our resource library. So Beacon handles all the sort of technical setup so we don't have to write a single line of code. Um, we just create a free account and you don't need to enter your credit card details or anything like that. Create your free account and then you'll be dropped into this setup flow. We can now choose a template for what our resource library looks like. So you can see now there's six different templates to choose from and they've all been professionally designed. Some of them are quite sort of detailed, like this one has this nice sort of image at the top. This one's a little more plain. I think in our context, because we're going to be embedding the library inside an existing website, I think we need something quite plain that's not going to sort of interfere with the website's own design. So. I'm going to choose this layout and we can change like the colors and the fonts and everything to suit our website style. That's no problem. Um, so let's choose this one. Now we're going to need to upload all the resources that we gathered together in that folder. We need, need to upload them to Beacon. So let's just click this yellow button to choose the files. And you can see now that we just sort of select any files that we want to upload. I'm going to get this MP3, that MP4. I don't need those images. OK, so I've selected the files. I'm going to click open. Now Beacon uploads all these files and you can see now down here we've got six resources selected. So let's hit continue. We now need to give a title to our library. So let's just keep this simple. Resource library. and click the yellow button. All right, so this is the resource library. You can see it's pretty much been set up for us. Um, the thumbnails have been automatically generated for each resource. I think this file was the audio file, so obviously there's no thumbnail for that, but we can add our own. Um, the search has been set up. These uh, category and format are the default sort of filters for the resources, but we can change them to sort of suit our own audience. Uh, and obviously we can change these colors and things like that. So let's make a start in customizing our library. So the first thing I want to do is add a thumbnail image um, for this audio file. So I'm just going to click on this image. That brings us into the opt-in screen. So this is what um, your audience would see if they were to click a resource in your library. Uh, and we have this placeholder uh, image for the thumbnail. You can see when I hover over it, it gets this yellow border. So basically, if you see a yellow border on something when you hover, it means that you can edit it. So let's click on the thumbnail and we're just going to upload a new file for the image. Um, so I think I have one saved here. Yeah. So this is the uh, thumbnail image for our podcast episode. So let's just upload that. You can see it gets shown here. And if I close the window, uh, it gets added here. Now you'll notice that all these thumbnails are set to be square by default. Um, so we can change that actually. If we go into this option on the left hand side to customize the library. And then if we go into, um, I think it's general. We can change the thumbnail orientation to be, you know, portrait or landscape or um, default. 
But I think that one, that's probably good enough. I think landscape sort of suits all these different resources. Like some are landscape, some are portrait, but I think we want them to be all the same. It just looks a little bit neater. Um, so let's just close that. And the next thing we want to do now is to set up our categories and formats. So let's just click this area again. We can see it has this yellow border around it. So let's click it to change it. Um, we can change like the colors and stuff of the, the background color, but we'll get into that a bit more later. Right now, what I want to do is change the category and format. So I can do that in this first option. And in the filter areas, we can see that the first filter is set up to be called category, but I think we're going to change that to industry. I think that'll just suit our audience a little bit better. Um, and then we can add in all the different industries here. So in the options area, we can just add in our different industries. So ours are going to be, let me see, healthcare, finance, uh, education, and probably technology. So that's enough to get us started. There's four different industries. Um, and then if I close that, I can also add our formats. So that's the second filter option. Uh, and sometimes people like to be able to, to browse by the different formats. So whether that's a video or a checklist or an ebook, um, I think it, some people have a preferred style of learning. So I know lots of people like videos. So if we can help them to find videos quickly, then that'll make them more successful with our resource library. So let's do that. So the different formats that we have, I think there was a checklist. I think we had an ebook. We definitely have video and podcast. So I think these are four is enough to get us started. So that's our categories and our, sorry, our industry and our format set up. So now we need to go in and sort of assign each resource to an industry and a format. So we can do that by going over to this menu on the left hand side and we're going to choose the manage resources option. So this is where we can add a bit more detail to each of our resources. So if I click in at the pencil icon for any one of these resources, I can see that we can edit the title, you know, we can add a description uh, and here on the right hand side, we can assign our uh, industry and format for this specific resource. So just open the drop down menu and put um, check whichever industry um, you think this applies to this resource and you can choose multiple um, but I think for our purposes we just need to choose one and we're going to give this a format as well so this is an ebook and once you do that just click update so if I close this screen, we can see that our library is shaping up pretty nicely, but it's at this stage that I like to take the library and embed it in our WordPress site. It just helps to give me a sense of uh, how the library is looking in place. So I know what else needs to be customized. So let's do that. Let's go up to the publish button. We're going to click this switch to publish our library. And then we're going to go to embed options and we're going to copy this inline script. Next, I'm going to jump back to my WordPress site. And just to remind you, this is the page where we'll be embedding the library in this white area. So let's go into our WordPress dashboard, go to pages. Uh, we have our resource library page here. If we edit this, and it's really easy to do, all we need to do is to add a block. And the block is going to be custom HTML. And if we paste our HTML in here and then click update. That's all you got to do. So if we switch back to our site and hit refresh, you see that our library appears in this white area and I can already see we've still got quite a lot of work to do uh, in terms of customization. So for example, we have a uh, logo and the page title in the library but you know we already have that in our website so we're going to have to get rid of pretty much this all this content in this green area no problem also we gotta gotta lose the green we're going to have to switch it to this sort of navy color just so it sits uh, nicely within our site um, but you know the, the library is working um, we've got all our industries and our formats so we can refine based on a content format or by different industry. 
Um, we can also search for individual resources if we need to, which is brilliant. So the library's there, it's in our site and it's working. All we need to do is customize how it looks. So let's jump back into Beacon to do that. So the first thing we're gonna do is lose this header. We don't need the logo or the title or any of that, so we need to hide it. Let's go to this option on the left-hand side, display elements, and we're just gonna completely hide the header. Um, so you can see that has disappeared. Also, our website already has a footer, so we're not gonna need this big green footer at the bottom. Let's hide that. Um, and we'll see, if I save that, and we go back into our WordPress site, and I refresh the page, I don't need to update the code or anything like that. It's already in there. So if I refresh the page, you'll see that instantly we've already made a big difference to our library. Brilliant. So um, we still need to change the green to blue. Uh, and you can see that there's this sort of light bluey gray in the background of the resource library page. I'm just going to change that to white. And that's pretty much the visual customizations for our library finished. So again, back into Beacon. I'm gonna choose the customize library element from the left-hand side. Uh, and first of all, let's change the page background. Instead of this gray blue, let's just have it as white. And then let's click on these green buttons because we wanna change them to blue. Click on that, we'll click this design button and we're changing the filters and the background color. We're just gonna put in our own brand color. is great so we can see that's already been updated here perfect and the last bit of green is these resource titles so again we're going to go to the customize library option on the left hand side we're going to choose the grid section here and we're going to change the resource title from green to blue easy as that so again, let's save. We're gonna go back into WordPress, refresh our page, and you'll see that right away, we have a resource library that looks like it belongs in this website. So this is great. The um, filters uh, are both navy blue. The title of the, each resource is blue. And if we click this, we still have to change this green uh, background on the right hand side and this green title here. So that's easy to do. Again, let's jump back into Beacon. We're going to open or click any of the resources to open up the opt in screen. And again, this uh, resource title has a yellow border. That means we can click it and we can put in our own color. And the last thing to do is this big green area here. So I'm gonna use this button at the top to customize that. The header background isn't green, it should be blue. Boom. So that is looking great. Again, let's save. And for the last time, let's jump back into WordPress, refresh the page, and we'll see that the title is now navy blue and this background is navy blue so this is great you know like what's that taking us less than 20 minutes to get a fully functional resource library embedded in our wordpress site and it looks like it belongs there you know it doesn't look like it's just been stuck in there so it's a nice seamless browsing experience for our audience all right, so our resource library is set up from our audience's point of view. You know, people can come to our website, they can search for a resource, they can browse by industry, and they can download a resource. But from a business point of view, what happens to that email address after someone submits the form? Um, well, ideally, we want to send that email address from Beacon to our email marketing tool, you know, something like MailChimp or ConvertKit. So let's do that. Let's jump back into Beacon, and we're gonna select the opt-in settings option on the left-hand side. And this screen basically gives you a few different options for, uh, like if you wanted to change the fields that appear on the opt-in form, you can do that here. If you wanna change the thank you message that appears after someone submits their contact information, you do that here. Um, right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up an email integration.
So basically we're gonna connect Beacon to our email marketing tool. So we don't have any providers set up yet. Let's click this green link to do that. And I'll click this green button and you can connect to a whole range of different email marketing tools like Active Campaign or Drip or ConvertKit. From our point of view, I think we're gonna select MailChimp um, we're going to give it a name and this is just for our internal reference this doesn't get shown to customers or anything and then we paste in our api key and if you need help finding your api key just click this blue link and that'll point in the right direction and then we're going to add integration now if we go back into the resource library screen and if i refresh the page you can see that MailChimp is now available under the email marketing service dropdown. And you can also see that I can see all the lists that are in my MailChimp account and also all the different tags. So whatever I choose here will be applied to every resource in the library. So if someone downloads any resource, they will be added to this list and they will also have this tag applied to them. So these settings apply to every resource in the library and I'm about to show you how you can apply individual settings for each resource. All you have to do is close this screen then go into the manage resources option on the left hand side and you can edit each individual resource. So let's start with this one. Um, and in this section here we can choose to either use the default opt-in settings which is what we've just set up or use custom integration settings. So basically we want people who download this resource to get a specific tag applied to them in MailChimp so that we can nurture that lead accordingly. So let's use custom integration settings. Our provider is gonna be MailChimp again. And then for the tag, we're going to select finance. So basically this resource is all about finance. So whenever someone downloads this resource, we're gonna give that contact the tag of finance in MailChimp. And that means that we can follow up with emails that are only related to finance. We're not gonna be sending them information that's irrelevant. Once we do that, we just click update. And you just continue that same process for all the other resources. And boom, before you know it, your library will be completely segmented so that you can nurture leads depending on the resource that they downloaded. If you've been following along, then congratulations. You now have your very own high quality resource library that sits directly inside your WordPress site. So it offers a seamless browsing experience to your audience, but most importantly, it puts you in the position to generate more leads for your business. And on top of that, you've got a better chance of converting these leads into customers because we segmented our audience based on the resource that they downloaded. And that means that we can follow up with a personalized email campaign directly for that person. So I hope you've enjoyed this, but if you need any more detail, just go to beacon.by forward slash WP library. Thanks now.